Welcome back to Sports Report. I'm Kate Scott. Now, if you're just a casual fan of college volleyball, you probably see Stanford winning the NCAA championship last year and then see that they're number two in the country this season, currently alone atop the Pac-12 standings, and think to yourself, okay, same old, same old down on the farm. But if you're thinking that, well, you'd be leaving out a big part of this year's squad story. With more, here's our Ashley Adamson. NCAA championship points for Stanford. A little confusion there in the back court. Plummer off the edge and Stanford wins it. Winning the national title, it hasn't really set in yet, honestly. You realize how much time, effort, and dedication you put into the sport, and you're like, wow. We did it. Stanford with their seventh title. I'm just so happy for this group of kids. I mean, they really, really want to be good, and we have some good players, but it takes a team, and it's just it was so fun to go to the gym with them every day. It didn't take long before we were like, let's do this again, guys. That was really, really fun. <laughs> for the Stanford volleyball program, the jubilation of winning a national title rippled long after that fateful night in Ohio. But it wasn't until the team was reunited on campus in January of 2017 that the celebration turned into something else. Uh, there was a team meeting, um, first day back, winter quarter. Um, we were in the locker room. And then about halfway through, John was like, yeah, stuff changes, teams change. Um, I'm retiring this year. It's hard when you're coming off of such a great season. You think he's gonna stay with you for the next three years, and then you hear that he's retiring. It was a kind of a shock, but starting over was kind of a big step for us because it made us shift our mindset that sometimes change is best for our team. Just as the program hovered in uncertainty, a promising successor emerged. I remember it was pretty quiet for a while. We had no idea what was going on. And then I remember getting a text from Morgan. She was like, guys, I, I just saw Kevin Hambly. Kevin Hambly, eight years in Illinois. Volleyball Magazine Coach of the Year. To me, it, it always has been the premier institution, premier athletic department. The opportunity to coach here was, was kind of a no-brainer to look at. There you go, good spot. And that's going to happen with Cal. A lot of stuff inside like that. That's a good lineup right there. Yes, much better right there. But you can go just after her, remember, just after. Like, you're going at the same time. My initial conversation with him was, if I was coaching you guys and we won the national championship, I wouldn't be trying to replicate what we did that year. I would be trying to reinvent the team, because that's what you have to do every single year. Tammy, too long on the ball, too long on the ball. Set her, there you go. Coach Hambly, his style of coaching is very honest. He wants to get to know all of his players, which I really appreciate. So, Megan, try to wait longer, wait longer, and then go quick, all right? Yes, just like that. When he wants you to know something, you're like, you'll know it. He kind of, he can be stern at times, but like that's what we need, and that's, he like knows when to bring it and when to kind of settle off. Just a little too long on the ball. Oh, okay. Yeah, like watching the pass. Okay. Okay. You can be stern and get the things you want out of them without yelling and screaming or getting excited and stomping your feet. You know, I think I get more excited when they do something right than I do when they do something wrong. Like that, that was better, Fitz. Let's see you're open that way. Like you're open that way the whole time. The expectation when you come here is to win national championships. That's it. If you don't win a national championship, you, you fail. You have high expectations for yourself and for the program and for like the history of the university. We want to repeat a national championship. Obviously, that's not going to be easy, so we need to take it one step at a time. We don't sacrifice anything. It's, it's going to be uh, done the right way here, and that's what Stanford's all about.